Thank you, Kirts. So, hello, my name is Marco Kivila. As Kirt said, yes, CEO of Real Baltic Estonia, and I will be giving a short uh, introductory overview about Real Baltic Estonia's key procurements in the year 2022. So, an overview about how this presentation is set up. So, I have uh, taken the, liber the liberty of uh, splitting our procurement plan into uh, quarters based on the publication dates of the procurements. And within these quarters, I will also show you the pr procurements being uh, split into four of the main categories that we have. So, we have uh, the category of stations and terminals, viaducts and ecoducts, utilities crossings, and mainline railway. So, as was told before, this year will be a year of uh, construction. Uh, this is true also for Rail Baltic Estonia. We will have one uh, major design procurement coming up in the second quarter. This will be the design of uh, the local stations in Harju and Pärnu County. But everything else you will see here on this presentation will be uh, the construction procurements. So, uh, just a quick side note about uh, this, what Christian uh, ended, uh, how to take part in our procurements. So, uh, uh, our procurements are all published in the Estonian Procurement uh, Registry, ERHR. Uh, I have a slide about that at the end of my presentation. Uh, the procurement notices for procurements over the international threshold are uh, also available in TED as well, which is the European uh, publication website. A little side note about the dynamic purchasing systems that we have. Uh, as Christian mentioned, the dynamic purchasing systems are something that we would like to use to uh, increase the productivity of our procurements. So, Rail Baltic Estonia has launched two dynamic purchasing systems. Uh, these are the dynamic purchasing systems for ecoducts and viaducts, and a separate one for utility crossings. Uh, uh, the side note being that uh, these uh, dynamic purchasing systems, their general notices are available in uh, the procurement in, in the Estonian procurement registry and also in TED. But in order to take part in uh, the dynamic purchasing systems, or rather the uh, specific procurements uh, launched under the dynamic purchasing systems, you will have to register in the dynamic purchasing system itself. So watch out for this uh, little remark. So starting with the first quarter that has already passed, but still one major ongoing uh, procurement, and this is the big one for Rail Baltic Estonia, not only in this year, but uh, generally throughout the project. This is the construction of the Ulemiste terminal. Uh, this uh, procurement uh, does not only entail the construction of the terminal building, but also quite a lot of uh, uh, railway construction, namely the relocation of uh, the 15-20 millimeter gauge railway that is existing right now uh, in the area. Mm, the uh, deadline for submission of tenders is the 23rd of May this year. Uh, the uh, estimated cost of the procurement is uh, more than uh, 176 million euros. So it uh, is one of the biggest tenders in uh, actually uh, Estonian history as well. So since the procurement uh, has already been launched, you can uh, get acquainted with the uh, procurement documentation uh, at uh, the Estonian uh, Procurement Registry. Uh, and I would like to remind you that you can also communicate with uh, Rail Baltic Estonia through the uh, Estonian Procurement Registry. You can ask questions about the procurement documentation and you can also give uh, uh, your own proposals uh, about possible changes to the procurement itself, if you find that necessary. So, the second quarter, here we have under stations and terminals the design procurement of the local stations in Harju and Pärnu County, which, was, which I was talking about before. We will launch uh, two procurements for ecoducts in the second quarter, uh, the Dam is the ecoduct and the Selja ecoduct. 
So these procurements will be launched under the dynamic purchasing system. Uh, so uh, you must register under the dynamic purchasing system to take part in these procurements. And thirdly, we will have uh, one uh, procurement for utilities crossings works as well, which is the gas line crossing in the Perno area. Uh, uh, this gas line crossing will not be launched under the uh, dynamic purchasing system for utilities. It will be launched as a separate procurement. So the third quarter, as you can see, uh, is planned only for procurements regarding utilities crossings. Another gas line crossing in the Kisa and Saku area. Again, this gas line crossing will be launched outside of the dynamic purchasing system. Uh, but uh, two uh, high voltage crossings, uh, construction for these crossings will be launched within the dynamic purchasing system. And these crossings are located in the Rapla and Hario area. So the fourth quarter as you can see, it will be a really busy quarter for uh, Rail Baltic Estonia, starting off with the major uh, procurements of the main line uh, railway uh, substructure constructions. So we will uh, start the procurements of two sections in the fourth quarter, uh, the section of Ülemiste Sodevahe, which will be a 10 kilometer long section, and the section of Rapla County line until Melivere, 11.8 kilometers, so these will be the first uh, Rail Baltica mainline uh, substructure construction uh, procurements in Estonia uh, at the end of these, this year. And we will also be launching uh, major owner supervision procurements for uh, these construction activities uh, as, uh, as separate uh, uh, service procurements. We also have one more utilities crossing uh, procurement in the uh, Harju area. Uh, a high voltage uh, line uh, needs to be uh, rerouted. This will be launched again under the dynamic purchasing system for utilities crossings. Uh, under the segment of stations and terminals, uh, we will have three uh, procurements with the uh, procurement of the first stage of the Muga freight terminal being uh, the major one of those. So uh, this will be the first stage of uh, regarding the Smuga freight terminal. Uh, and in this first stage, uh, we will procure the relocation of the existing 15, 20 millimeter uh, railway lines in order to make room for uh, the subsequent construction of uh, the uh, actual Rail Baltica infrastructure, which will be the subject of another procurement later on. In the Parno area, uh, under stations and terminals, we will have two uh, procurements. Uh, one regarding the Parno passenger project, uh, but uh, this uh, uh, procurement launched this year will be the construction of the Law Street for this uh, terminal area. The terminal, uh, Parno passenger terminal procurement for the construction of the terminal itself will be launched uh, in 2023. And we will also be launching the first stage of the Perno maintenance facility construction. So under this first stage, uh, we will actually be um, uh, making the area of the infrastructure maintenance facility ready uh, to act as a materials depot uh, for the construction of the main line uh, railway uh, in that uh, general Perno area. Under viaducts and ecoducts, we will have uh, one viaduct, the Ruki viaduct, and one ecoduct, the Dagad ecoduct, ending the year. These will be launched under the dynamic purchasing systems. As a uh, general remark about viaducts and ecoducts, uh, we will try to uh, launch uh, more procurements that you can see in, in this current presentation but uh, this will be determined on uh, the uh, stage and readiness of the design. Uh, uh, and uh, this is uh, today our best knowledge uh, within this presentation. If we are able to get the designs any sooner, uh, we will uh, uh, try to launch more procurements for viaducts and ecoducts uh, this year. So Christian already was talking about uh, the main concerns that we have uh, uh, in this uh, current market situation. Uh, just to reiterate, uh, Rail Baltic Estonia uh, 
also notes uh, quite particularly that uh, there will be an impact on participation in our tenders to, to the risky situation of, of the supplier market. Uh, and we also expect that there might be a, a large impact on our budget uh, due to bids with very large uh, risk uh, margins. So Christian was talking about the various ways how we try to mitigate these effects. Uh, I, here in this presentation, just would like to show you the free uh, activities that we have decided in Rail Baltic Estonia to implement as soon as possible. So the first one will be uh, the sharing of uh, risks uh, regarding any costs uh, for the contractor through the use of indexing in our uh, construction uh, procurements. The second action uh, that we plan to use is uh, to have uh, larger uh, than previous uh, advance payments in our construction uh, contracts. Uh, to enable for larger upfront material purchases to make more stability for the contractor. And the third uh, action will be to uh, change the payment regime that we have uh, uh, had currently. Uh, the current regime is payment for works done after they are done, but we will uh, implement a new regime where we can also pay for materials that have been delivered to site and also for materials that are not delivered to site, but that are identifiable in, uh, in stocks. So to end this presentation, uh, just a uh, note on how you can find our uh, procurements uh, through the Estonian e-procurement uh, registry. The easiest way would be to Google ERHR. Uh, and uh, one more note, uh, when trying to uh, participate in our procurements, you can find uh, the help button there uh, in the uh, first page. And uh, under there you can find uh, some really useful guides in English and also uh, some great video guides which will uh, help you uh, make uh, your uh, bids in our procurements. So this concludes the presentation from my part and uh, thank you and I yield the floor to my colleagues.